The plane is on time. Ryanair only uses Boeing 737s with built-in stairs. That enables them to save on ground staff. The company's low prices have turned the European market on its head. The flight from Dublin is carrying Ryanair board members. They want to expand their business at Berlin Schönefeld, even though the airport's already bursting at the seams. I want to know if you can really get flights for under 10 euros. Yes, you can go for, for 9.99 from here to Belfast, including taxes. You can also including go taxes. including taxes. What do you earn with that? We don't earn anything from this, but you these, don't want to earn. Uh, yeah, you know, when you carry 117 million passengers on 1,800 routes, yes, on some you don't earn any money. Chief Marketing Officer Kenny Jacobs is here for two days. He's only brought carry-on luggage. You, you are not planning to change anything. No, no, I will, I will do a press conference up behind the desk, I will do this and I will look more official from the waist up, but from the waist down I'll be very comfortable. <laughs> you should see the hotel we stay in tonight. I want to see that, what's that? Uh, it's a, it's uh, a oh, 5 euro 99, uh, one no, night, no, it's, including it's, breakfast. And no, no, including it's Texas. 79 euros, yeah. but it's, a, it's called Propeller, Propeller Island, it's a, it's a hostel. This is not where he's staying. The Hotel de Rome is one of the most expensive addresses in Berlin. Ryanair has rented a hall here for a few hours. Kenny Jacobs knows it doesn't really fit the Ryanair image. Next year, the airline will fly to 19 new destinations from Berlin. At present, most of Ryanair's planes are stationed in Britain, but that could soon change. Berlin and Germany are benefiting from Brexit because Brexit has created uncertainty in the UK market. That's a big, big market for airlines. So while you have uncertainty in the UK for the next number of years, we're slowing down our growth rate in the UK. Around 1.6 million people fly to Berlin with Ryanair annually. The airline wants to triple that number next year. I asked Kenny Jacobs why Germany is so interesting and what kind of customers he's hoping to attract. If you're a very shiki Mickey German who's got loads of money, you're not a typical Ryanair customer. And the people working there yeah. on the desk, do they get uh, <laughs> the minimum wage or...? So the people at the, the, people at the desk, you know, they, get, they would get paid more than the minimum wage. These would be part of the 450 people who work for us in, in directly in Berlin, now that we've got a big base here. So they will be paid a very good wage because we have to pay them a good wage because they will very easily go and work for any other airline or any other part of uh, any part, part of the airport. Working with subcontractors helps Ryanair keep prices low. European labor unions have criticized the practice, but the Irish company denies accusations of social dumping. So how does the airline manage to sell its tickets so cheaply? When and where you can, be it airports, be it marketing, be it the price of fuel, everywhere you try to bring the cost down and you really keep the organization very, very lean. Berlin's old Schönefeld airport is being expanded just for Ryanair. It will remain in service even after the new mega BER airport is open nearby. But BER might take years to finish. Berlin Schönefeld and this terminal works very, very well for us. I think when the new BER opens, uh, it will already be too small to service the needs. Now that's quite a good thing because it shows that people want to come to Berlin. It probably won't go down in the record books as the best German engineering project ever. That doesn't seem to bother tourists. Many are happy to accept less comfort in return for cheap flights. Kenny Jacobs is betting on it. Next year, Ryanair plans on flying 5.4 million visitors to Berlin.